Tonight, it's Lavender Night here at XL Energy Center, also known as Hockey Fights Cancer Night, raising money and awareness for hockey's most important fight. And you can see those warm-up jerseys the Wild players wore. Those will be auctioned off later as part of a, an auction by the Minnesota Wild Foundation to go toward charities that will help fight cancer. It's one of many ways to raise awareness and support for everyone who has been affected by cancer. We welcome you back to Wild Live, presented by CenturyLink. Playing an NHL rink is something that most kids can only dream about. But for one 10-year-old boy from Alexandria, just getting on the ice here at XL Energy Center was more than just a goal. It was a personal triumph. Marnie Gellner has the story. 10-year-old Brady Lind comes from a hockey family. Absolutely. Everything about us is hockey. If there's a day off from school, it's the hockey rink or in the backyard or knee hockey in the basement or watching hockey on TV, it's all hockey all the time. Brady spends a lot of time on the ice with his older brother Evan and his younger brother Caleb. The trio is pretty tight with hockey and sports in general at the center of their lives. I like to play hockey and baseball and football. Brady, you gotta get over here. Let's try it again. This is a typical day for the boys and their dad, Scott, throwing the football around outside their home in Alexandria, having some family fun. <laughs> but a year and a half ago, Brady was downstairs in his house playing knee hockey and hurt his elbow. A week later, he hurt his wrist, and a week after that, he hurt his knee. For a nine-year-old boy who has two brothers and they are constantly moving and fighting and playing sports, you know, to have three injuries in three weeks' time, it seemed a little strange. Brady saw several doctors and ended up having surgery on his wrist. Doctors removed some bone from his wrist at Gillette Children's Hospital in St. Paul. After testing it, results showed that Brady had cancer. The first question he asked is, am I gonna die? And I told him, absolutely not. I said, this is not gonna kill you. This is, I will not let it, we are gonna fight this. Brady was transferred to Children's Hospital in Minneapolis. His diagnosis of acute lymphoblastic leukemia came on April 11, 2013. Chemotherapy started the very next day. The only thing you're thinking about is saving your child's life. You know, you're not thinking about all the side effects from all the, the chemo he's getting, and you're not thinking about paying your mortgage. You're not thinking about anything. All you're thinking about is saving your child's life. Brady initially spent six days in the hospital and then went back every three weeks for three days at a time. Linda took seven months off of work to care for Brady and drive him back and forth from Alexandria to Minneapolis. It was a little scary at first because like all the stories you hear that when they have cancer that they like die. And that was kind of probably the scariest moment. One time I woke up from my bed and I was going to go run in his room and ask him if he wanted to play hockey, but then I remembered that he was going to the hospital, and so I just sat there on his bed. Brady missed more than two months of school. He had 17 spinal taps, but he fought and he got better. better. After six months away from hockey, Brady got back to the place he loves to be, the hockey rink. An organization called Hope Kids arranged a special event for him earlier this fall. The kid who loves hockey would get to be the honorary flag bearer at a wild game. Let's give it up for Brady, tonight's flag bearer. Went onto the ice, just put the flag down, and then did that with my arm, and then they came out and I got knocks from some of them. You got knocks from? Some of the wild players. When you think about where he was, to see him going from almost needing to be carried to the go to the bathroom a year and a half ago to skating on the wild ice, the words can't even describe. Going from that to, you know, this huge moment in his life. And like most everything else, Brady's family was there to share this moment with him. Being Brady's brother is like the best thing in the world because he's fun to play with. If I'm like getting tired, of playing with Evan, I just gotta, I got a new person to play with.
an inspiring story for Brady, and thank you to Marnie Gellner for sharing that story. Brady will continue with his treatment plan and receive chemotherapy through October of next year, but as of now, he is a healthy 10-year-old boy and officially in remission.